हे व्हाट्सअप ग्लैड दैट यू हे आई सॉ अ माइक्रो एनिमेशन इन वन फुटबॉल ऐप दिस एनिमेशन शोज अ पाई चार्ट विथ थ्री सेक्शंस ईच रिप्रेजेंटिंग नंबर ऑफ विन्स लॉसेज एंड ड्रॉज फॉर अ टीम इन वन सीजन इन दिस टूटोरियल आई विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन इन सिंपल स्टेप्स आई विल ऑल्सो मेक इट रिस्पॉन्सिव सो दैट यू कैन यूज इट एनी वेयर इन द स्क्रीन so make sure you watch this tutorial till the end and leave your comments also sharing this video and subscribing to my channel will help channel grow and will motivate me to create more such tutorials for you in future so let's collect the basic requirement for this animation when is this animation supposed to run this animation will run once page visit so let's say we use animation controller then we will run the controller in forward direction and never worry about if we have to rerun it in forward direction or reverse direction anytime soon second question would be how many sections there are possibly only three outcomes of a match win loss or draw so in this pie chart we will always have maximum three sections once you will learn how these three are animated you can later extend it to take n number of sections Okay let's first create an pie chart widget and add attributes it will be a stateful widget because we will definitely use animation controller we will have radius which will be a double value default it to 100 win defines number of wins and like so you will have draw and loss and give some default values just for example the text size for text that we will put inside the pie chart and stroke width defines the width of the pie outline so now we are ready with main attributes of this widget so let's see how custom painter can help in drawing arcs first you will create a custom painter class let's have stroke width as the field for now in the paint function create a paint object for wins with color stroke cap style and stroke width The paint function has two parameters canvas and size. Let's use canvas to draw an arc using draw arc function. The first attribute is a rectangle that defines the area in which we want to draw a arc. Let's use from circle constructor to draw a rectangle because knowing the size it's easy to find a center of rectangle. Now what will be the center? it will be width by 2 and height by 2 for y after center we need a radius radius of rectangle will be equal to width by 2 the second attribute is start angle using radians from math library we can give a angle the 0 degree angle starts from right center but our chart starts from top center so we will use minus 90 degrees so it will shift one quarter left towards top next attribute is sweep angle let's set it as 90 degree after this we have use center flag let's keep this flag as false i will show you what is impact of this when i run the application the last attribute is the paint that we want this arc to use to draw there is another method should repaint let's return true from here so so far we have created a custom painter that draws an arc in the build function use this painter in custom paint widget we should give some bounding size to this widget because we are we know the we want to know the size in the painter to find the radius and the center now wrap this in size box and the size also can be created from radius call this n pie chart widget from a screen and let's run the application clearly you can see a arc starting from top center and ending at right center so it is completing 90 degrees as our sweep angle was 90 now let's change the sweep angle and this time change the flag use center property to true to see the difference the arc is there but it is now a closed shape For this animation we definitely don't need to use center so we will revert it to false. Calculating dynamic sweep angle. 
सो नाउ वी नो हाउ आर्क इज क्रिएटेड एंड हाउ स्वीप एंगल बिहेव इंस्टेड ऑफ नाइन्टी डिग्री स्वीप एंगल वी नीड अ डायनामिक वैल्यू हाउ डू वी गेट दिस डायनामिक वैल्यू सो लेट्स डू सम मैथ हेयर सम ऑफ विन ड्रॉ एंड लॉसेज विल बी द टोटल मैच इज प्लेड एंड दिस टोटल मैच इज शुड बी मैप्ड टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज ऑन द पाई लेट्स टेक दैट वैल्यू इन अ फील्ड सो वॉट विल बी द डिग्रीज ऑफ विन दिस टाइम और सिंपली पुट वी नीड टू फाइंड हाउ मच शेयर डज विन हैज इन द टोटल वैल्यू एंड दैट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय सिंपल विन डिवाइड बाय टोटल एंड दिस वैल्यू विल बी इन डिग्रीज ऑटोमेटिकली बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिवाइडेड टोटल बाय थ्री सिक्सटी पास दिस वैल्यू टू द पेंटर रिप्लेस इट विथ हार्ड कोडेड स्वीप एंगल री रन द एप एंड नाउ we have the win arc i have given 10 wins 5 draws and 5 losses that's why win arc takes 50% of the pi that is 180 degrees if i change it to something else we will have a different arc now drawing other arcs there are two ways to draw other arcs either start the other two arcs from where win arc has ended or start them from top center that is minus 90 degrees from where we started the win arc in the first option we will need to supply dynamic start angle as well before and use intervals to run the staggered animation to me that is complex and non scalable because later when you have more than 3 sections you will have to write more handling so let's stick to minus 90 degrees being the start angle always supply two more values to painter draw and loss degrees notice this time the second section should be sum of win and draw so that it is bigger than the wins in the pi and we can see the draw arc differently the image will help you understand more the win arc is x degrees and draw arc is x plus y degrees and so on create two more painters in the custom painter for the other two arcs make sure to have different colors for each painter to highlight the difference between wins draws and losses create two more arcs on the canvas with these values as sweep angles Okay animations so that's good but the real feel of charts come when they animate so now let's see how to animate these arcs we will use single ticker provider state mixin and declare a animation controller and convert three double types to three animation fields of double type one each for win draw and loss in the init state function initialize the controller with vsync and a duration in the same function initialize the win animation with the help of tween the begin value will be 0 because we want the de win degrees to change from 0 to desired sweep angle sweep angle 0 will make sure that we have invisible arc initially the end value will be the degrees that we calculated before dividing win by total you can create animation from a tween by calling animate function on the tween pass in the controller there so whenever controller's value changes the animation will also update its value and we can use latest value per frame define the other two animations and now coming to the build function wrap the custom paint in the animated builder widget and provide controller to the animation attribute for painter attributes change the previous win draw loss attributes to their animation values go back to init state function and run the animation controller in the forward direction this will make sure that once this widget is loaded the controller will start and that's exactly we wanted as a requirement lastly and without fail always dispose the controller in dispose function now you should run the app and the animation looks pretty cool
Now adding a curved animation. The default curve used here is linear, but we can change it by using curved animation. In the init state function itself, create an instance of curved animation, pass in animation controller as parent and provide a custom curve like curves dot fast out slow in. In the animation initializations, change the animation controller to this curved animation. And this is how you can add curves to custom animations using animation controller. Run the app again and you will notice the difference of change in the value. Okay, the data. Well, creating UI for showing amount of wins, draws and losses is pretty easy. I will just take 30 seconds of yours to explain how it's done. So I created a vertical stat widget that has label value and text size. Used this widget in a row with main axis size as max and space evenly as main axis alignment. For performance benefits and the fact that this row should not rebuild when animation runs, we should put this row as a child to animated builder and not in the builder itself. This way for all frames when control is updated, the row won't rebuild, only custom paint will rebuild. Okay, one last piece. I said that I will teach you how we can make this responsive so that you can use it in any part of the screen with any size. Add another attribute to npy chart that is scale. Keep scale as one by default. Wrap the sized box in the build function with transform.scale widget. Give the scale to this widget from the screen that is calling it. Now give scale as 0.5 and run the application. You can see the difference. It's not distorted. Now you can change the scale to 1.5 or 2.5 3 or 1.2 or anything. The chart just runs without render full exceptions. So this is it from this tutorial. Make sure to like the video if you did and leave comments for feedback. Sharing this video will help channel grow and will motivate me to create more such tutorials for you in future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.